in the next decade. We hope to create better life, better work, better environment, and better digital world. But the computability theory proposed almost 90 years ago are approaching their limits. We believe that only by making breakthroughs in fundamental theories can we create the key to unlocking the intelligent world of the future. Extrapolation means that when we look at a drawing or a picture or just at what we see, it is always partial information. Our mind extrapolates. This is my first time visiting Paris. I'm very thrilled to be part of the Huawei China France mathematics camp. Mathematics for me is a language to describe and understand the complexity of the world. For me, mathematics is a very useful tool to give a deep understanding of subjects like optimization and physics. For me, it's already part of my life and also the way I see and uh, interact with the world. It is very, very positive. They come from uh, the most prestigious universities in China. Uh, even inside these universities, uh, they have been selected. My experience is that uh, Chinese students are uh, very hardworking. I even think uh, Chinese students could inspire us. I mean us French people, for instance, or uh, European people. It's so great. I love his ideas about mind pictures and mathematical countries. Based on the theory of geocentric topology, he explained that math isn't just a bunch of unrelated concepts. It's more like a country with cities connected by roads. He made it easy for us to understand how visible and unvisible things, imaginations, reasoning and calculation all work together in math. We can use our imagination too, but of course, we still need to prove our ideas. Huawei now invests billions of dollars and many talents in the fundamental research every year. We have established 86 fundamental research labs and more than 180 joint or innovation labs so as to promote the open and joint innovations with academia. My research interest is in deep learning and also its application in higher order dynamics and nonlinear dynamics. I find it's very different from your taking courses because not only requires you to apply what you have learned in class, but also to read the recent papers to cultivate your academic taste. And especially share your ideas with your colleague. Deep learning, you know, it's, uh, it's a theory that we still don't understand why it works. Of course, there are many results that explain intuitively why some things work better than others, but still there is no satisfactory answer. Problems can be there forever. There are open problems in mathematics that haven't been solved in hundreds of years. And so this kind of failure is part also of the problem. It's actually a positive thing to fail because you learn much more from failure than from success. You need to work hard. <laughs> to learn a theory is never easy. It is always very difficult to learn a new subject alone. The human uh, exchanges, face-to-face -face exchanges, cannot be replaced. Yeah, you see, it is especially important to figure out the hierarchy of a domain. What is most important? What is less important? How a domain is structured? What are the main line of thoughts? So this can be learned much more quickly and easily by talking, exchanging, raising questions. I think it was very interesting to meet the other uh, participants of this camp. I think there were a lot of very cool people and a lot of interesting backgrounds and I was uh, positively surprised about how much we had in common. I think it is where ideas collide. Some talented people get together and discuss with each other and I sincerely hope can have the potential to determine the future. When I have the opportunity to talk with mathematical masters like Professor Figali, who works on optimal transport, I feel incredibly inspired and motivated. He covered the fundamental concepts and the core theories, such as finding the most efficient ways to transport one probability distribution to another. 
So this experience has inspired me to explore how these theoretical tools can be applied to solve practical problems, such as ICT area, to make a breakthrough. We are rapidly entering an era of all intelligence, and the development of advanced intelligence depends on breakthroughs in mathematics, which is the cornerstone of the future world. We hope more and more young talents can seize the opportunity of this year to transcend the limits of human beings and to be the master of the universe.